Hello everyone. Like myself, Prem Anand. I am teaching political science in Shankarayas Academy, Bangalore. So we are going to uh, see a lot, uh, like series of uh, videos related to the basic concepts of political science. So today uh, we are going to see about state in political science. So as you uh, in the connotation of India, like uh, mostly state means it is actually like uh, the provinces, right? For example, like Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, etc. But in political science, the state denotes a country with a government, okay, which has a population, which has a boundary, etc. Okay. So the entire subject of political science is actually dealing with the concept of state. So political science as a subject talks about how a state is created, how a state should function, how a state should govern the people, okay, how a state should have relationship with another state. So the concept of state can be traced back to the ancient history time. Okay. So before uh, the period of state, the world was full of anarchy. Anarchy in the sense there is no there is no proper law and order. So the concept of might and right is being there. Okay. So the state came into existence in order to streamline this and to establish a very safe life for the people. Okay. That is why the state has come into existence. For example, think about as in India. If, for example, no government is there, okay, no law enforcement agencies like police or uh, other law enforcement agencies are not there, okay, whether we can be safe means it's a very big question mark. So, state got established to give life to the people, okay, and it continued in order to give good life to the people, okay. So, in this video, we are going to discuss what is the state, okay, why state is important, can a human being live without the support of state, okay. So this is all, these are all the things we are going to discuss in this short video. Okay. First, state in political science. As I've already said, the entire subject of political science revolves around the single word called state. Okay. As Aristotle has nicely said, state comes into existence for the sake of life and continues for the sake of good life. Okay. As I've already said, there was a complete anarchy in the system. For example. anarchy for example for example if you go to forest you know in forest there will be no law how the forest functions might is right whatever the line says it is the rule that's why it is called as the like king of the forest okay so the animals the small animals okay the insects the birds does not have any say to tell in the forest so whatever the line says it is the rule in the forest right so this is called the law of forest or lawlessness you can call it as that can be called as anarchy so anarchy was the situation before the state came into existence after state came into existence this anarchy was removed and a proper law and order has been set up in a state so state came into existence comes into existence for the sake of life and continues for the sake of good life what is good life here so good life here according to aristotle is a life with justice. Okay. Each and everyone should have a justice in their life. The state should give justice to the people. So that is what he says. But Aristotle's point of view of justice is totally different. That we will discuss in some other video. Okay. So another thing. There is a famous saying that there is, there is nothing above the state. There is nothing above the state. What is it? Because everything is below the state only. See so for example, first in India, Okay, the, the, the state, you know, the state only decides what need to be done and what need not to be done in the, in India. Okay, so state organizes everything, state controls everything and state does everything. So there is nothing above the state. So state is ultimate end for political science. So political science entirely talks about state because state only controls everything in the lives of the human being. So, in the modern sense, state can be understood by this definition. So, what is a state? The state should comprise of a boundary, a population, a group of people, government and the government should have sovereignty. Okay. 
For example, think about India. India has a boundary, defined boundary. Yes, India has a defined boundary. Yeah, India has a population. Yes, it has a huge amount of population, more than 140 crores of people live in India. And India has a government, elected government. Yes, we have a government and that government have sovereignty. Okay, what is sovereignty here? Sovereignty is nothing but actually, if a state can establish its own decision without any influence, then any influence of the external agency, then the state can be called as a sovereign state. Okay. India is a sovereign state from 15th of August 1947. Before that, India is a colonial state. So, now the modern concept of state should satisfy these points. Okay. But the concept of state got evolved from the time of Socrates, Plato, etc. Even before that, it is there. But in political science, we are starting our syllabus from uh, Plato only. Okay. So, there, at the time of Plato, in the ancient Greek city-states, the concept of state got evolved. From there, it has went through a lot of changes and in the present system, we are seeing a state with this definition. Okay. What is the importance of state? So, let me ask you a question. Okay. Can you live without state? Definitely no. If you are a human being, you cannot live uh, without state. Even now animals cannot live without state because of many international conventions. Because of many international conventions. So, we cannot live without the support of state. Why it is so important? Have you ever heard about the Syrian refugee crisis? Have you ever heard about the Sri Lankan Tamil refugee crisis? And recently there was another problem called Rohingya Muslim refugee problem. Okay. So, what are all these problems? Why these people are being neglected in other countries? Why these people are not getting even the basic needs what we get? Okay. Why? Because they do not have the support of the state. Okay. For example, you take the uh, uh, Syrian refugees. So, Syria was in the civil war for a long years. Okay. So, people of Syria are moving out of Syria and they are taking asylum in uh, many other countries. Okay, they are sometimes called as illegal immigrants. Sometimes they will be called as terrorists. And there will be no proper respect will be given to those people compared to the citizens of a country. Okay, so which supports you, which actually like gives you an identity means it is the state. So, for example, we are all living in India. I have voting right in India. So, this voting right is given by the state. Through the constitution, of course. Okay. So, this voting right gives me a political identity. Okay. And since I am a citizen of India, wherever I go inside this world, wherever I go, I can go to US, London, I can go to any other countries. So, since I am a citizen of India, I will be having some kind of security in all the places. Okay. Or suppose I don't have the identity of any state, I will not be having any support. I will be called with a name called illegal migrant, terrorist, whatever it is. So, without the support of state, you cannot live in this world. Okay. It is very difficult to live in this world. You can live in this world, but it is very difficult. Okay. So, state is very important. For example, from your birth till death, without the support of state, you cannot survive. Okay. We cannot survive. Each and everything, the state comes into picture. Okay. So, Aristotle also says this. Political science is a master science. Political science is a master science. Why he uses the word master science? Because political science deals with state. Political science deals with state. So, since state is an ultimate authority, nothing can be above the state. So, since political science discusses about the state, political science becomes a master science. For example, we are all under the government of India. For example, I invent something. Okay, whether this invention should be coming to the limelight or it should be hided, it will be decided by the state. Okay, so I am a very big biologist, I am a microbiologist, I have invented a medicine or a biotechnologist, I am, I have invented a medicine for a very, uh, very serious disease, whether it should be allowed to be given to the people or not, it will be decided by the state. Okay, whatever it might be, I am a very big nuclear physicist. I am inventing a very big hydrogen bomb. Okay, so like whether it should be like it should be uh, like recognized or not, it will be decided by the state. 
so state will decide everything that is why it is called as master science okay so political science is called as master science why because it deals with state again okay again it can be linked with the same concept nothing about the state state is everything state only decides everything you cannot live out of the state you can live only inside the state once you are going out of the state you will be given with numerous number of names which even you don't like it understanding what i am saying so state is that much important can we live without the support of the state definitely no it is not possible you can live but you cannot live a very peaceful life your life will be very miserable okay so since this political science is dealing with state, uh, state okay so you cannot avoid political science even if you study some other subjects you know you cannot avoid political science because from the birth till the death as i have already said state travels along you along with you you cannot avoid state there is also an another famous saying by aristotle okay you can say no to politics but politics will never say no to you or you can leave politics but politics will never leave you politics always travels with you it's an organic entity of a human being okay so that's why aristotle nicely puts in the words one who does not need a state is either a beast or an angel aristotle okay so yes if you are living outside the state or out of the state you doesn't need the support of the state either you must be a subhuman or you must be a god definitely you are not a human being okay so i used to tell this okay so for example today fully okay there is no police there is no law enforcement agencies in this country so how many crimes will increase how the people will behave okay so the each and every animalness in the human beings will actually come out okay. so man cannot live without state that's why aristotle again puts in a very different word it's a very beautiful quote who says that man by nature is a political animal the word political here is that until he is under the existence of the state only he can be a human being once the state is removed from the human being or the human being is removed from the state he becomes an animal so this is the importance of state okay so this is not a very elaborate video about the state just i wanted to tell you what is state how it is important in the human being's life okay i hope the video was very informative to you we will be having lot of videos of this kind in the future small small videos which will give you a very good understanding about the political science concepts okay thank you for watching this video please write in the chat box about or in the comment box about how this video was useful to you and let me know about what are all the other political science concept you wanted to uh, have it as a video from us thank you thank you for seeing this video